We need to get to far north Queensland, where the floods are, bit, that have been caused by, caused by record rain in the wake of uh, tropical cyclone Jasper. Now, areas around Cairns have seen 24-hour rainfall totals of more than 300 millimetres. And even in a tropical zone that's used to heavy downpours, the scale of the flooding, the power and extent of the floodwaters has been absolutely incredible and devastating. The ADF has mobilised to help hundreds of people in Cairns and the surrounds, sending four helicopters and, and boats to the area. At least one crocodile was washed into Cairns Townsfit, Township and, and re residents there are being warned, of course, to stay out of the floodwaters. Let's cross live to the Mayor of Douglas Shire, Mike Kerr. Port Douglas is the holiday mecca north of Cairns, hit also by landslides and, and flooding. Mike, thanks for joining us. First up, what can you tell us about the latest in your area? Well, at least the rains have uh, died off a little bit um, in this area here. I'm in Port Douglas myself, where we've been very, very lucky uh, this occasion. But from Mossman, north of Mossman, we have just been absolutely hammered. There's been more than 1,500 millimetres worth of rain that's hit this region in the last few days. Uh, I've got areas that are just completely inundated with water. The Daintree River broke its banks and got up to a 15 metre high level, it's a, it's, which is a record level high. And of course, that's just completely washed through Wonga. Um, my residents in Wonga have uh, just been inundated with water. We were rescuing them last night, early morning, putting them into rescue shelters. And then, of course, we have Mossman as well, which the river there burst its banks and the water went all the way down Front Street, right through all the business shops there, uh, right down as far as the council chambers. So we had to end up sandbagging the rescue centre to try and make sure that the water wasn't going into that also. So it's just an incredible amount of water and the damage that's come with it is untold at this stage because we just can't get into these areas because they're so isolated to find out exactly what the damage is. And that's one of our biggest concerns of what we're going to find when we do get in. Yeah, that's what you'll find out in coming hours and days. But you believe the floodwaters have peaked or are there concerns about any more rain to come? Well, the modelling at this stage says there is going to still be showers coming through, but nothing to what we have seen uh, in the previous few days, which is, you know, if we got that, we'd just be destroyed. You know, so at least with this, it'll give a chance for the catchment to drain, uh, get it out the waters. The high tide that we've got tonight is only 1.5, so it's nowhere near as high as what they've been, um, which also it won't cause the dramas that we've had over the last few days. But the damage is done. We've got houses that are unlivable. We've got people that will be homeless. And, you know, we've got areas that we can't even get to at this stage. Cape Tribulation, I mean, they had 650 mils of rain last night alone. So... Uh, the person who spoke to me had water running through their house. You know, it's just, it's a crazy situation. You know, there's roads there that we've had landslides that are 120 metres long, which are massive clean-up operations once we can get into these areas. Yeah, it's going to be hard for you to answer this next question because I'm wondering about the ch tourism industry in Port Douglas and in Cairns and then that whole area. Uh, are you expecting you're going to be closed off to, to visitors for some time to come? Because, of course, uh, that's going to hit you economically in the, in the weeks and, and months to come if you can't get back that trade back up and running. Yeah, absolutely. We've been decimated, unfortunately, with COVID over the last few years. We're just getting our tourism back. And, you know, we are tough, we're resilient, and we're going to keep going with our tourism. Port Douglas, as I said, was one of the areas that wasn't heavily affected. Once we get Captain Cook Highway open, those reef boats are already ready to go. Those tours will be ready to go. Get us, you know, a day, a week just to get this mess cleaned up. We will be open, we will be trading, and we want those people with tickets to come to Douglas to come support these businesses who desperately need it. Well, good on you, Mike. Uh, good luck with finding out what the damage is and getting on top of it. We'll certainly keep everyone up to date with what uh, is revealed in coming days and weeks so that we can get uh, make sure people know when they can get back up there and spend their dollars in your community. As you say, it's been a tough few years. It's the last thing you needed on the top of it. Thanks so much for joining us, Mike. That's Michael Kerr, who's the Mayor of the Douglas Shire there, coming to us live from Port Douglas. Just incredible scenes, aren't they, that... An area where they're used to, of course, tropical rains, heavy downpours, especially at this time of the year, but just been absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of rainfall that's come in the wake of Cyclone Jasper.